welcome back to Flight Attendant Justin. Um, today I am here to do my week one recap in my hotel room. Um, today is Sunday, so it is our off day. We have class Monday through Saturday from 8 to 5 every day. It's a lot, but it's super um, important that we have that much class time because there's so much information to learn. So I'm in my hotel room. Um, I just want to give you a quick little recap. I'm going to try and not edit a lot of this so that you can get the raw content and footage of how training is going. So we started training on Monday with the new hire orientation. It's called First Class, um, and that's where all of the new hires across the company, so customer service agents, flight attendants, maintenance workers, management level positions, we all come together and we went to this hotel and they do a company overview. They talk about the values, they talk about how important safety is, they talk about what it's like to work here, they talk about benefits, all of that good stuff. So um, it was it was great. There were probably 150 people, if not more, in that room and um, they showed us this video about Alaska's story and it was super awesome. I think they had just like finished produce producing it. Um, it made me cry a little bit, I had to hold it together, but that was really fun. Um, and then Tuesday, our actual training started. So first class was with everybody, and then training started on Tuesday at the um, at the in-flight operations building with all of just the flight attendants. So that's where we met our instructors. Um, we started the day with kind of expectations, and this is what you're going to be doing over the next five weeks. And um, they then issued us our iPads, which we use for studying and they have our flight attendant manual which we call the FAM um, and all of our coursework and stuff that we use to study for our exam. So all of that was on the iPad. Took forever to get all of that set up. Um, it felt like three hours but it was good and I'm really glad that we spent the time on that because that iPad is super helpful and resourceful now. So if you're going to flight attendant training soon and they aren't giving you an iPad, I would recommend buying one or bringing one or loaning one or something because um, it's just so much easier than having a laptop and opening it up in class and yeah, you can just you can download this app It's called good reader and tap through all of your documents. So highly recommend that um, then later in that afternoon We did our IMD in-flight mobile devices setup, which their iPhone 8 plus is so when you buy alcohol on board your flight attendant most likely has an iPhone and um, if you're flying on My airline which I just realized I now said the name whatever. Um, yeah, that, that day was very basic. And then when we got to Wednesday, which was officially day two or three, I can't remember, day three, um, that was when the actual content started. So we started learning about the characteristics of a Boeing aircraft. We started talking about all of the emergency equipment that's on a Boeing aircraft, what to do um, when you're trying to find the MedLink headsets, or if you're trying to find the AED or the emergency medical kit, or all of those different things that are on board an aircraft that you probably have no idea that are on there, I now can tell you where they all are. So um, that was super awesome. We also did our seniority numbers that day. So we took the last four of our social security number and the last four of our employee ID and added it together. And then that number is what we gave to HR. And that's how they determined our seniority. And I'll tell you what my seniority was when I get to that day. Um, so it was great. We learned all about it. Um, it's been a very lecture heavy week and I think that makes sense because there's just so much for them to tell us. Um, so a lot of sitting in the classroom, they're really good in their approach to teaching this course. So, and they'll say this again and it gets annoying, but I've started to understand that trusting the process and how they're presenting this information is super important. They're taking a layered approach. So for example, they'll say, okay, you need to do this reading tonight out of your flight attendant manual. We'll come in in the morning and there'll be a quiz. It's like a, it's like a cahoots or a Socrative or something like that, if you're familiar with that type of thing. And then from there, they'll do a lecture on all of that material. And then at the end of the, the end of the day, we'll go over the quiz and review it. Um, so you're getting that information four times, basically. And then we touch on it throughout the week. So this layering process that they're doing of information is working for me. I'm retaining a lot of it. Um, I can tell you where everything is on a Boeing aircraft. I can tell you if it's left or right, after forward, mid cabin, like it really does work. And it's super interesting to see um, how this approach is different than, you know, what professors used in college or whatever. So I'm hoping that it's working for my classmates because it works well for me. So Thursday um, and Friday, we learned about uh, how to arm and disarm a door. So when you hear your flight attendant say, I think it's flight attendants arm, arm or disarm doors and stand by for call. Your flight attendant is actually like arming that door so that in case you open it, um, 
in the event of an emergency landing and you need to get off, the slide will automatically deploy. So there's been a lot of emphasis on safety when it comes to that, how to actually go about doing that. Um, and it's a very like big task. They say that it's one of the biggest things that we're gonna do as flight attendants, which is true. I mean, there's potential for a very big safety issue if that does not happen. So we did that. And then Friday, we got our seniority numbers. Um, and out of 72 people, I am 18. So I love that for myself. Um, the seniority numbers really, it doesn't matter um, beyond this class. So what they're using it for is we get to bid for what base location we want and they go down our class seniority list to pick from our choices. So I'm the 18th pick basically. Um, I don't think it's gonna matter. I think I'm gonna be in Anchorage or San Francisco. So um, my hopes of Seattle or Portland are maybe out of the picture but you never know things could change and um, you can always like swap and do stuff so doesn't mean I'm moving to San Francisco it just means that that's where I will start all of my trips so love that um, we also had our exam on Friday and I got a hundred percent which was really awesome the test was um, very easy in my opinion I don't know if other people would agree with me in my class but the questions were written in a way that you could identify the correct answer um, and if there were two or three correct answers to pick from there was an all of the above or something like that so it was a very straightforward exam um, way easier than my geology 101 course that I took in college that was absolutely awful but it was good and then yesterday was the last day of the week um, we started to learn about the Airbus side so but Alaska, I'm just going to start saying it, whatever. Alaska has two different types of aircraft. Before they acquired Virgin America, it was all Boeing. Made in Seattle, probably all Boeing was the signature tagline. And then when they bought Virgin America, based in San Francisco, they acquired all of these Airbus aircraft. So they've had to merge them together. They've had to rewrite the flight attendant manual. They've had to come up with safety practices for how to do all this stuff and just train people on how to operate the Airbus and Boeing aircraft. Um, so we started to learn about the Airbus yesterday and it is going to be intense. It's going to be very hard. There's a lot of differences. There's a lot of similarities, but there's a lot of differences in where stuff is and how things work and how it just operates as an aircraft. So it's going to be an interesting ride. Um, yesterday or Saturday was a very lecture heavy day as well, but that's okay. You know, you kind of just go with it and you figure it out. So we ended the day with style and service. Um, so we got to order our uniforms, which was great. Um, we're also in a uniform transition. So what I'm getting this year is not what I will wear next year because our new uniforms come out. So got to order all of that stuff. Um, and then yesterday afternoon we had style and service, which is where all of our onboard, um, onboard vendors more or less so Beecher's Cheese, Seattle Chocolate, Tito's Vodka, um, all of those different people came in and they let us sample the um, stuff and it was really fun. We got our uh, aprons that we get to wear during service if we want to wear them and then we just got to try all of the drinks so we tried wine and beer and uh, vodka and rum. It was it was a lot of alcohol. <laughs> to be honest. And then they had like the smoothies that are served in first class and the soup and the salad and I got a haircut. So it was just really fun. It was a great way to end the first week. Um, there were a lot of different people there. It was really fun and we got a lot of free stuff. So yeah. And now as we go into this next week, I think this is when things are going to start to get a little more intense. Last week was pretty basic and kind of easy and now it, everything is starting to layer on more. So what we learned in week one, we can now be tested on in week two, week three, week four, week five. So it's going to get harder. Um, I think I'm going to have to study a little bit more this week to try and get through all of the Airbus components and figure all of that out. But other than that, we're chilling. Um, I miss home a little bit. It's nice to live in Seattle right now, but I do miss hanging out with people and I miss my car the most because I miss Phoebe and being able to drive everywhere was so nice, but um, everybody is super nice with their cars here. They're willing to drive us places. We take a shuttle to and from training every day um, and it just works out. So my roommate is awesome. Um, his name is Valentino. He is from Charlotte, North Carolina before he came over to Seattle. I thought he was coming back in. Before he came to Seattle, he worked for a regional airline um, for one of the mainline biggest airlines in the US. 
and he really liked it and he's just super awesome and super fun and quite honestly the best roommate that I could have gotten here so I don't like living with other people <laughs> I don't like sharing things with other people but he's super awesome and like I love him a lot so he's really great so the last thing I want to talk about are my service flights and my initial operating experience which is my final final check ride flight exam so for my first service flight um, I will go as a passenger I'll fly as a passenger to San Diego and back but when they when the flight attendants do their service portion I get to help them serve and wear my apron and well, I don't think I get to wear my apron, but I get to just do that whole service part. I don't get to do the safety or anything like that, but it's still good to be able to put in my skills. That's next week. So we're coming on week two. It'll be in week three that that happens. And then the week after that, in week four, I am going to San Jose. So I'll do the same thing, fly down as a passenger and back. But when they're doing the service, I'll get to serve Diet Coke and alcohol and all of that good stuff. So that'll be fun. And then right before I graduate, it's the Saturday, I think it's like the 15th of June or something like that. Um, I get to do my IOE or my initial operating experience. And I get to go to Omaha, Nebraska. Yeah, so excited. It's a three and a half hour flight. So for that to be my uh, check ride is kind of intense. Whereas my fellow classmates get to go to Boise or San Jose or Salt Lake City, I'm going to Omaha. So it'll be a lot of fun. That is where I am in uniform. I am a flight attendant. I do the safety demo. If there's a medical emergency, I'll respond. Um, so it it's just going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. And after I finish that, if I pass, um, then I get my wings. So thanks for watching. I don't have much else to say. I hope you enjoyed my week one check-in. Follow me on Instagram because I'll keep posting some fun stuff that you don't see on the vlog. Um, it's really hard for me to vlog during class because we can't have phones or cameras in the classroom. Um, so yeah, sorry, but I hope these will suffice. Stay tuned and have a great day, you know? Love life. It's May. And bye.